Hey, welcome back design students. Uh, let's put some materials and some lighting on the scene and make it look really good. As you can see, I've made our standard um, studio backdrop here from two CV curves and a loft. This is very simple. You make a curve in the side view, you copy it, and then you go to surfaces loft. And you may have to also uh, reverse direction if it's not facing the correct way. We did this in previous projects. This should be familiar to you. And then we're going to create two lights. These are going to be Arnold lights and they're going to be area lights. So I'm going to create the first one, move it up, rotate it so it's facing down, and move it up some more, and then scale it. Then I'm going to go ahead and turn on Arnold so we can see the result. And I'm going to give it, knock up the exposure. Not that much. And what this one is going to be simulating is the sort of glow of the candle. So I'm going to make this one kind of orange, like so. Then I'm going to create another Arnold light, another area light. This one I'm going to pull up and it's going to be out and away. Off to one side, scale it up, and it's going to be turned to face the candle. And this one is going to be blue. Maybe even more moving towards purple, but it's going to be very dark. Like so. And I'm going to pause the video and play around with my uh, exposure and such, and I'll come back and let you know what the result is. So I think I'm going to stop here. I just made this such that it has a nice orange glow sort of in the vicinity of the candle here. Um, I changed the shape to a disc so it's more round and I left the purple one alone. Now when we put some materials on here it'll look a lot better. So select the candle and right click and assign a new material. An Arnold AI Standard Surface Shader and this one is going to use the wax preset. And the default color is pink, so I'm going to change that to something like a beige. But that pink color is going to come through because it's also in the transmission, so we're going to have to um, change those as well. And I happen to have these swatches here because I was used making similar colors with the candle. And there's also some subsurface scattering, which is pink. Make that white. And then if we select the backdrop, you can see that looks really nice. The candlestick, we're going to assign a new material to it. It's going to be an Arnold AI Standard Surface Shader. And I'm going to use the copper preset for it. And you can see that looks really nice. I don't want it to be quite that shiny. So I'm going to delete the history of the candlestick. And in here, in the copper, I'm going to change this color to uh, a gray because I want it to be more like a pewter. And I'm going to increase the aristotropy, which is sort of the brushed sort of blurs the reflections a little bit and I'm going to increase the roughness just a little bit in the specular and you can see what that looks like. I also decided to select that second light, the purple one, and I made it very dark. It may seem a little counterintuitive to make a light almost black but it does still give out some light. I just didn't want it to be quite so purple. You can see how that works. 
So to finish this up, I'm going to delete all the history. And then I also change the render settings. Don't forget, we always change this to JPEG. And we change from 540 to HD 720. And then under the Arnold Renderer tab, we need to increase all of these by one, except for the volume, because we don't need that one. And then I turned on the resolution gate, which is right here, framed my shot, and now I can turn off the Arnold Renderer and bring up the render view and then open the Arnold Render View and render your shot. And when it's done rendering, don't forget to save the image and turn it into this assignment. And I'll see you in the next video.